They declared a grid emergency and they've urged consumers to cut their electricity usage to avoid those blackouts. They said that they had, uh, they, I mean, they literally narrowly implemented or narrowly avoided implementing rotating outages on, on yesterday. They said today will be a bigger test. It'll be a bigger test. They said the state has, their electricity use has soared to its highest level in five years. Power demands, they're telling everyone just, you know, be very careful. Let's reduce our power consumption. Let's reduce how much stress we're putting on the grid. Kane, how do electric vehicles get their power? From coal-fired plants? No, 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 no. Just like, let's skip that step, like right to the end. Where do they, and well, it's like, you're electricity. at home. Electricity. Oh, because what's the E in EV? Yeah, it's electric. Oh. So if he's, if people can't even, if the grid can't even handle just homes right now, what do they think? When they start adding all these electric cars to the grid. That seems problematic. But wait, Kane, they want to ban all gas-powered vehicles by 2030, though. That'll work out great. How, how's that going to work? Because then everybody would have EVs, essentially, right? Yeah, and they would probably have to be limited on where they would drive and, and but, how and, they would and use it. In the summer, when it's super hot in California, because it's California, yeah. that, that would mean... Would they be limited in how they could charge their and vehicles? Anyone that has ever used hmm. an EV knows that if you end up using the air conditioner or the heater in an electric vehicle, it severely reduces Wait, the what? amount of... What? Really? Yeah. Like that much faster. If you have to use an AC or a heater in an electric vehicle, it pulls from the overall electric bank and the batteries... And that shortens the amount of actual distance you can travel. I in hate everything. Car. Look, I... I am going to say this again. My husband and I will not stop. This is don't ask us this. If you ever see us out in public, do not even bring up electric vehicles because we'll be on cops. I would agree with him, but then we'd both be wrong. I mean, I'm fine with gadgets. Stop telling me that you think that electric is. He doesn't think that they're going to be more environmental. He just thinks that he thinks they make sense. And I'm like, no, they don't. I'm like, they I, I, I'm not going to actually say what I said to him because I don't think I can. But. They don't make sense. Like I want, no, I'm no, I can't. They, I feel like I have to rely on something. There's like, it feels like there's an additional step there to me, right? And I also, when I want to get more power for my vehicle, I don't want to wait 20 minutes. I don't know if you've met me. I have no patience, okay? Okay, I have the patience of a toddler. I'm usually really wound up. I'm in major carb fog right now. Because I accidentally ate some bruschetta yesterday. And I'm like, mmm, it's tiny bread. Yeah. And it's, it doesn't count as much because it's tiny and, you know, holiday, right, technically. So it doesn't count. So I'm, I'm, I'm in a major carb fog after not having any for like a week. I'm so long story short, I don't, I don't want to feel as though I am connected. I feel like I can't get black market electric anywhere, but I always can get black market gas. You know what I'm saying? Like I can get fuel anywhere. You know what I mean? You know what people are doing now? And I'm seeing this on social media more and more. They're putting actual gasoline generators in the trunk of their Teslas and other electric vehicles. So in case they run out of electricity, they can pull out the gas powered generator oh, and lovely. charge up their car. Look at that. I mean, I don't, I don't hate EVs. I just, <laughs> I just don't. Why would you do that? And I don't, I'm one of those people, I like certain cars, but I don't want to have more than one car because I don't, I don't want to feel like I have to have more in my life than I need. You know what I mean? It's just, except if it's guns or shoes. That's totally different. But I don't, you know, I would never have more than one place to live. I would never have more than one vehicle because that just is added stress to me. You know what I mean? The upkeep, the maintenance. I don't want to be stressed out with all that stuff. I just can't. I mean, stuff stresses you out. And so I, if I have one vehicle, I don't want it to be that. I don't want it to be, you know, a glorified Flintstone yabba dabba doer. I don't want that because that's what it is. Let's be real. And then if you're in California, you're screwed. Yeah, it's a model for the nation. I mean, yes, they have rolling blackouts and you're not going to be able to charge your EVs. But otherwise, I just, I can't, 
I can't deal. I think a good compromise is the hybrid vehicles, the ones that will run on electricity when you're doing the city stuff and the smaller things. But, you know, when you're on the highway and you're needing a little more power, it'll kick in the actual engine. And sometimes those cars can get up to like 500 miles to the tank. Um, you want to know what else is it's going to horrify you? What? So, like, my husband's really been getting into, like, electric supercars and that. Like, and... I don't know if I should, I don't know if I can say it, because half of my audience is going to die. You will die, and you're going to groan, and you're just going to, but I'm really weird about my vehicles. I want them to look unusual. I want them to be loud. I want them, I want to terrify people when I'm on the road, not just because it's a massive vehicle, but because I am a female driving it. Don't look at my hubcaps. You know, I'm just, (laughs) I'm just saying. When I look at some of these electric supercars, because this is all the stuff that he throws in my face. Like, yeah, well, look at this. And look at this one. And it's like, like look at this Lotus, whatever. And I'm like, it, you're going to, I don't even want to say it. You're going to hate me. You know what I, you're, y'all are going to get so mad at me. Here, let me tell Kane first. And then we'll just, I, I think that they look like, right? Did, you, you don't, Juan's dying. I'm killing Juan right now. <laughs> I said they look like glorified Nissans. Right. They look like, more, like super unnecessarily expensive nissans with just a couple more hur- curves and humps that's it right i don't know can I'm i can enough. i tell you that i agree with jeremy clarkson i don't like the porsche 1911 the porsche 1911 because it does look like a you fancy beetle 911 or the 1911? 1911 it looks like a fancy beetle oh okay i'm weird All i right. can't help it you do know the. i don't like the new aston martin that's an ev because it looks like somebody chopped the face off it you know, don't like that dodge is going to be stopping the challenger and the charger in 2023 yeah because they hate ones. humans they hate everybody which will i think make the gas powered ones way more valuable i know them. i want to get now see i would get all of those i would get those things i want my door i want to be terrified when i hear my door close because i want it i want it to feel like it could crush me i want a loud car that is annoying that's what i want you know so i i look at these evs and i just think and, 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 I, and the, the system upon which we must rely in order to power them. And I think, why are we going back in time? 